What is up, you guys? It's Chad Brandt here for SculptedByBrandt.com. In this video today, you guys are going to get some tips on how to use my fitness pal and how to use it in a way it can hold you more accountable towards your macro goals. Check it out. Don't forget to like the video. Here we go, my fitness pal. Use the free version. If you want to buy the other version, you just get a little bit of tips and tricks. It's cool. Um, so here, my fitness pal. A lot of people use this one. Um, so right here, this is your main page. So what I want you to do is it, when you go into your goals, here's your edit. So this is not the free version. This is or this is the free version. Okay. So when you go into edit, you can do the best you can to get as close as you can to the macros that your coach has given you. All right. And you're just putting the, the calories in here and you're doing the percentages. Okay. That's what you want to do. But the tip I want to do is how to break down your meals in your food. And I want you to do this. Go into your settings. Now scroll down. This is going to be on your PC. I'm not sure how phone friendly this is, this tip is, but on your PC, it's friendly. Diary settings. Nutrients tracked, something that you should have in there, carbs, fats, protein, sodium, fiber. Track this. Know what you do, all right? But what I'm talking about today is meal names. Name your meals. How many meals do you eat in a day? I do six. How many do you? You can name them. Now, your coach is going to give you, possibly, on depends on who you are working with, macros for your meals, so you can hit them. So for some guidance, go into settings, go into here, and here's M1, meal one, protein 40, carb 40, fat 20. I've broken down my meals into this to give me some guidance and to give me some meal accountability. Here's meal two, pre-workout, bing, bang, bong. Meal three, pre-workout one, right here. Meal four, there they are. Meal five, there they are. Meal six, this is the nine nights meal right there. So let's get out of this and see what it looks like. So after you've done that, go down, always press save. I'll press save. All right, diary settings. Now you go into your food and this is what your sheet will look like. Here it is. So the accountability is gonna be there on your phone and on here, right? You obviously get the countdown version over here. So as soon as you enter this stuff, your goal is to have meal one, have protein 40, carbs 40, fat 20. It's just a little bit of extra guidance for you guys to help with the day. What we don't want is meal one, you skipped it, no food. Meal two, you skipped it, no food. Meal three, you're just eating whatever you can to catch up because you're so ravenous. And that's not good because you've probably just spiked your insulin through the roof and the meal's not very balanced. And then you're just fighting to get the day done just to hit your calories. Well, let's not go there. Some days it might happen, but here is a layout. Just go into settings change it out. This will help you. It helps me for guidance when I'm stuck or when I look at it, be like, this is what I need to hit. This is what my coach wants. Boom. Enjoy.